former employees have claimed that your company was a hostile workplace for women. When you were confronted about it, you admitted making sexually suggestive remarks, saying, quote, that's the way I grew up. In a lawsuit in the 1990s, according to the Washington Post, one former female employee alleged that you said, quote, I would do you in a second. Should Democrats expect better from their nominee? Let me, let me say a couple of things, and have, if I can have my full minute and a, qu a quarter, thank you. Um, I have no tolerance for the kind of behavior that the Me Too movement, movement has exposed. And anybody that does anything wrong in our company, we investigate it, and if it's appropriate, they're gone that day. But let me tell you what I do in my company and my foundation and in city government when I was there. In my foundation, the person that runs it's a woman. Seventy percent of the people there are women. <clears throat> in my company, lots and lots of women have big responsibilities. They get paid exactly the same as men. And in my um, uh, in City Hall, the person that's the top person, my deputy mayor, was a woman, and 40 percent of our commissioners were women. I am very proud of the fact that th about uh, two weeks ago, we were awarded. Uh, we were voted the uh, most f f the, the best place to work, second best place in America. <laughs> if that doesn't say something about our employees and how happy they are, I don't know what does. Senator Warren, you've been critical of Mayor Bloomberg on this issue. Yes, I have, and I hope you heard what his defense was. I've been nice to some women. <laughs> that just doesn't cut it. The mayor has to stand on his record. And what we need to know is exactly what's lurking out there. He has gotten some number of women, dozens, who knows, to sign non-disclosure agreements, both for sexual harassment and for gender discrimination in the workplace. So, Mr. Mayor, are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story? We have a very few non-disclosure agreements. Uh, how many Let is that? Let me finish. How many is that? None of them accuse me of doing anything other than maybe they didn't like the joke I told. And let me just put, and let me put, there's a be, agreements between two parties that wanted to keep it quiet, and that's up to them. They signed those agreements, so, and we'll live with it. So wait, when you say it is up to, I just want to be clear. Some is how many? And, and, when you, and when you say they signed them and they wanted them, if they wish now to speak out and tell their side of the story about what it is they allege, that's now okay with you? You're releasing them on television tonight? Se Senator, no. Is that right? Senator, tonight? Senator, the company and somebody else, in this case, a man or a woman, or could be more than that, they decided when they made an agreement that they wanted to keep it quiet for everybody's no. interest. They signed the agreements, and that's what we're going to live with. I'm sorry. No. no, the question is, are I the women bound by being muzzled by you? And you could release them from that immediately. Because understand, this is not just a question of the mayor's character. This is also a question about electability. We are not going to beat Donald Trump with a man who has who knows how many non-disclosure agreements and the drip, drip, drip of stories of women saying they have been harassed okay. and discriminated against. That's not what we do as Democrats. Mr. Vice President. Look, let's get something straight here. It's easy. All the mayor has to do is say, you are released from the non-disclosure agreement. Period. <laughs> We talk, about, we talk about transparency here. This guy got himself in trouble and may begin saying that he would, there was a non he couldn't disclose what he did. He went to his just, company. Just to be super now clear, gotta, that was about the list of clients. No, so no, nobody no, gets no, yeah, <laughs> no, I know what you mean. No, you're right. But he said, he went to the company and said, I want to be released. I want to be able to do it. Look, this is about transparency from the very beginning, whether it's your health record, whether it's your taxes, whether it's, whether you have cases against you, whether or not people have signed non-disclosure agreements. You think that women, in fact, were ready to say, I don't want anybody to know about what you did to me. That's not how it works. The way it works is they say, look, this is what you did to me. And the mayor comes along and his attorney say, I will give you this amount of money if you promise you'll never say anything. That's how it works. Mayor Bloomberg, final word to you. 
I've said we're not going to get to end these agreements because they were made consensually, and they have every right to expect that they will stay private. If they want to release it, they should be able to release can themselves. I add, can I add a word Say to this? yes. You know, we talk about electability, and everybody up here wants to be Trump. And we talked about stop and frisk, and we talked about the workplace that Mayor Bloomberg has established and the problems there. But maybe we should also ask how Mayor Bloomberg in 2004 supported George W. Bush for president, put money into Republican candidates for the United States Senate when some of us, Joe and I and others, were fighting for Democrats to control the United States Senate. And maybe, we can talk, maybe we can talk about a billionaire saying that we should not raise the minimum wage or that we should cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. If that's a way to beat Donald Trump, wow, I would be very surprised. Thank you.